Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to program your power strip timer so that you can have a on-off function for your kiosk. So first thing we have um, our timer 1 section and our timer 2 section. We have our LCD display to show you the time and date and then what modes it's also in. And then here's all the buttons we'll be using to actually program and navigate through the device. Um, and on the back side, which is important, is in this section of the power strip, there's going to be a little plastic tab you want to pull out when you take this thing out of the box. And what this does is allow the battery to be on for the LCD so you can actually see what you're working with. So the first thing that's important is let's actually set the time and date. So currently it is 12 and it's Thursday, so it's not Monday. So Let's change that. So you want to hold down the clock and program button. And while you're holding that down, press the week. And you can actually cycle through what day it is. So there we go. We're on Thursday. Now let's change the um, time. So we're at 12, but I have to roll over. So I'm going to hold the clock and program and press the minute. And there we go. So, cool. So we are all on time. So now we want to make sure about the mode. What mode are we in? So it should be on auto. If it's not, here, let me press the mode button. You'll see all on. So if it says anything besides auto, just press the mode button. We want auto. So there we go. So the next thing we want to do is actually set a program. And how we can do that is press the clock and program once, and auto will start flashing. See how it's flashing? So when it's flashing, we'll press the timer button and now we can set our timer. Program 1 and what time it's going to turn on and it wants to turn on on Monday at 1 a.m. So let's change that by pressing the hour. Let's have it turn on at 7 a.m. So I'm just pressing only the hour button. And we're going to get to 7 a.m. Now what day? Let's change that. So if I keep pressing it, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, the week, Monday through Friday, or just the weekend, or Monday through Sunday, and that's what we want. So now if we press the timer button, you'll see down here the one on turn to one off, and that is what time this will end. So when does this power strip actually turn off on this program? So let's change that. Let's have it turn off Monday through Sunday. We're just pressing the week button. Okay. Monday through Sunday. And what time? Well, let's do 10 p.m. So I'm just pressing only the hour button. And there we go. Now we're in the p.m. Let's go to 10. Six, seven. There we go. 10 p.m. is when it's going to turn off. Now here you'll see um, timer one. Let's make sure to press the mode and timer two and timer 1 and 2. So timer 1 and 2 will turn off at 10 p.m. So let me just hit the timer again. And if you see, if you accidentally hit timer, you see 2 on. This power strip is actually capable. I'm just pressing timer. This power strip is actually uh, capable of having like 10 different programs that you want to run. We only need one. So when you see A, let's see. OK, there we go, 1 on. So I forgot to have the timer set timer 1 and 2. So program 1 turn on at 7 a.m. Monday through Sunday on timer 1 and timer 2. Now let me press timer. There we go. And turn off at 10 p.m. Monday through Sunday on timer 1 and timer 2. Now if I want to just go back to display the time, just press clock. There you go. It's 12.02 on a Thursday and we're running. There you go. Now you know how to program.